Good morning, everyone. This is lesson five, a continuation of uh, lesson four, uniform circular motion. Okay, uniform circular motion. There. That is a vertical circle. Okay, that is a vertical circle. Vertical circle, highest point. Okay, so we are talking about highest circle and highest point. So this is a vertical circle, you can see. Now we are talking, we are considering something at the highest point. Okay, this body has been moving, going. Okay, but we are trying to consider when it is at highest point. You see, I'm holding there. Yes, it has been moving. It has been moving from the lowest point, going highest, coming again. Okay? So the picture must be very clear in your mind to enhance your understanding. You must visualize the correct picture. So what happens? At this point, you must identify other forces because we are dealing with force. And we said centripetal force is a resultant force. A resultant means you must consider all forces that are working there. And I will take you step by step. So, the tension I'm holding at this point, this is just example of if we have to get it right eh? this is uh, here okay so this is moving now we are there that is what i'm talking about we are there now remember it will continue it will continue again it will continue now we are talking about this red wheel see where i'm holding so in this thread in this white thread there is tension tension is towards where you are holding because if you release this then everything falls okay so tension i've shown is towards where you are holding right what other other force is acting there is mg Weight, weight, weight is acting, mg. Now, weight is vertically downward. Tension is also vertically downward towards the center. In this particular highest point, that is the direction of tension. So, vertical downward forces are two. One, tension. To wait. We don't have anything else. So what does it mean now? What does it mean? Centripetal force is a result of tension plus mg. Okay? They are also directed towards the center. The tension is towards the center. The mg will pass to, 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 through the center. It acts vertically downward. At any point, it, it remains weight. It remains mg. So even if you draw the line of action through the center, you continue coming down. It's just like telling you the gradient of a straight line is a constant along that straight line. So, at this point, we say centripetal force is directed towards the center. But there are also other two forces which are also heading towards the center. Which forces are those? The tension and the weight. So we see centripetal force is resultant. Resultant is normally also you can call net. Do you remember net salary in mathematics? 
those who are in form 4 it is gross minus pay minus deduction so when you have minus minus somewhere what remains is what we call net that is my net salary everything that belongs to me take away what goes to the government take away what goes to my debts and other services what remains is net so the other forces are zero we don't see them so i would say essentially technically i would have written this that is net because minus means something has remained after something has been chopped that is the essence of net resultant what is the result you cannot have one thing and then say what is the result so t plus mg minus zero so we don't normally write minus zero there is nothing opposing these forces okay there is nothing in a straight line that is opposing so i i don't subtract okay therefore if i tell you to make t the subject you will tell me t here remains this goes this side it becomes that okay keep it let us go to a vertical circle lowest point lowest point mg the weight acts vertically downwards so i've shown you the direction tension is towards the center where you are holding so where are we now we are here where are we in terms of my lesson we are here here yeah there so tension is up towards where i'm holding that is the direction of tension but the weight is downward the weight is downward this is the weight it tends to point down this one will be good so centripetal force is a force towards the center what else is towards the center here now we are trying to describe that centripetal force this force is made up of tension and then opposing tension you see this is opposite so we say tension minus mg the mg that is opposing just like if i tell you this body here is being pulled this way by f1 is equal to 10 and this side is f2 is equal to 15 newtons okay those who still don't get resultant force so what is the resultant force here where will this body move this body will move towards right but it is not 15 that sustain its motion why because there is 10 that is opposing so resultant force i will write fr will be 15 minus 10 this is what is sustain motion that's why we write fr is equal to ma what sustain motion this is motion of this body whose mass is m so if you get this you come here apply it it's the same thing you did it in form two okay resultant so the direction the, the centripetal force is directed towards the center that's why we start with the t we subtract this we, we look for what is in harmony with the centripetal force in what sense towards the center then you subtract anything that opposes it but subtraction will only take place if the forces are collinear if the forces tend to be acting on a straight line okay 
So we write Fc is equal to T minus Mg, net force, again. Then if you keep T the subject, you take minus Mg, it will go this side. Now, I want you, let us now focus again. I, I make it up to that point. I think that one will be okay so far. I repeat here. Fc is equal to T minus Mg. T is towards the center. So, in other words, I'm talking about centripetal force. Centripetal force is the force that is directed towards the center and keeps body in a circular motion. So, we look for first the force that is towards the center, then subtract opposing forces. The subtraction is done on collinear forces. So, I want you to compare this and that. So that, see if this is your conclusion. This one we call, and this one we call, minimum. You can see, Fc is found here, is plus, but here is minus. Try to understand why we ask you to get us maximum and minimum tension. Now come down here for just just to, to conclude. To conclude, I think you can see this is the part I want now to dwell on here. Okay? Horizontal circle. I want you to distinguish. Eh? We had horizontal circle. But this one was vertical. I showed you in that sense. Okay? Now, to draw a horizontal circle, I am, this is horizontal, but I put it here, like this, in a plane, because I cannot draw it in two dimi uh, three dimensions. It's difficult. It's difficult to draw it in three dimensions. So what I want you to understand, this is a horizontal circle. Okay? So the body, horizontal circle, this. So a body is moving. Okay? This way. The body is moving like that. So at this point, the weight is down. But the tension is towards the center. Now these two, you cannot resolve them. You cannot add them because they are not collinear. They are not collinear. So this one has nothing to do with the centripetal force. Mg is not in line with the T. So it is not considered. Therefore, centripetal force here is simply centripetal force is simply tension. Centripetal force is equal to tension. What provides centripetal force is just tension on that string or thread, but not Mg. So I want you to understand this and then you go through it on your own, get the understanding of this, then I will do a conical, okay, a kind of conical. That one also comes, conical. Conical, I'm holding up, but the body rotates. The body rotates. So you see at one point, at one point, you have here, see? See, it is at an angle. The string now makes an angle. See, it is going round. See, it is at an angle. Do you see it is at an angle to horizontal? Let us see. It is at an angle. Can you see that angle now? The angle the thread makes with the, with the ruler. Keep on subscribing, folks. Keep on subscribing. Then you get new uploads. We will be doing some questions in SPSS. 
tell your friend there is good stuff bye bye